who raised your hand that you were bringing one person. Make sure you bring that one person. Those of you who raised your hand that you were bringing two. Those of you who raised your hand that you are not bringing anybody. Don't bring anybody and live your life plain. It's just you. In science, we call it no buffer. If you drop acid, it is acidic. But if you have a buffer, you don't understand. Aya, do you hear me? Yeah. There's no joke here. There's no joke. But you said what? A center leader? Yes. There's no joke. Did you do come to stand in front here with your stomach? Don't joke. Don't, don't laugh. You know, my children, one of them should have been a very abnormal child. That is, I've got two boys and one girl. The girl, you know, can I have water? Yes. Open it for me, please. You see, the girl, eh? This is how she should have walked. My daughter. That's how she should have walked. Google it. It's called Connecteros. Connecteros. K E N K E R N I C T E R U S. Give me water again. my daughter. Do you know why? She had jaundice when she was a little baby. I forget the, like days, three days, four days, days. She was yellow. I knew that I had lost her if I didn't make a move. So the doctors at Kolebuniku were, were, were playing with my child. You see, they don't care in a certain way because it's, it's when something is yours, you know what is you know it's yours. By the way, that girl is in final year medical school now. By the grace of God, only God's grace, she'll be a doctor by December. By the grace of God, if God wants it. But that girl... By this time, if she has to bat, my wife has to bat her, put pampers on her, because what again? I realized that I was about to lose my daughter. I have a friend. He's a doctor in America now. Chicago. I looked at his face. We, we, we both knew that we had lost that girl. That girl would not be a normal girl. But there was one thing we could do. We call it the exchange transfusion. But the doctors wanted to wait till Monday. It was Friday. And that thing, once it happens, you can't reverse it. They were waiting till Monday to take a decision. I told my friend that this is my child. My first child has died. This one, I'm not giving her. So, we, we, my friend and I, we took her blood. Went to the blood bank. Went to get blood. We ourselves, there's something called a crucifix, like a cross. Like this. If you go to any Intensive care for babies is there. We put the, my daughter on it. Tied her hand here, her hand here, and her legs here. Just like a cross. Took a needle. 
ourselves. My friend is here with the blood and I'm here on my daughter. I pull her blood out and she gives me another syringe and I put it in because the blood in her was going to kill her. So I had to now replace the blood in her with the proper blood that is from the blood bank. So I pull but he, he gives me, I said, next, shh, next, shh. It's called exchange transfusion. Next, shh. You see her color was changing to pink. That's it. Next. Because on Monday, when the doctors come and it is an irreversible connectors, I am the one taking my abnormal baby like that. that. I know, I've seen one before. There's a beautiful woman. I don't want to say much about her. She had a daughter like that. Not normal. That girl should be, if I'm whatever, she might be about 35 or 40. Not normal. You can't go to school. You can't learn. Your brain is deformed. Ladies and gentlemen, on the 15th of May, there must be an exchange transfusion for some of you. Yes. An exchange transfusion. Bring the souls for your soul. I said, bring the souls for the soul of your daughter. Bring the souls for the soul of your son. Bring the souls for the soul of your business. Bring the souls. I didn't come to church with this message. No, never. I didn't. I, everything I'm doing now is by inspiration. I'm saying that this one and from today to 15th, fast and pray that God will help you to keep the people in church. It's, it's between you and God. Not just to bust them and take them back home, but to try, pray for them because I believe that it is an exchange transfusion we are going to do. By Monday, when the consultants came, they took the blood and did the test. Billy Rubin was down to almost nothing. Something which was so high that the girl was about to die was not normal because we had intervened. Intervene on the 15th. I said intervene. Some of you sitting here, you, you see, when, 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 if you had come to see me with my daughter on the cross, removing her blood, you, I'm sure you will care to you that I am into some ritual murder or I'm into some spiritual, I'm a pastor and I want, some, I want to use my daughter for some power. You understand what I was doing. And some of you don't understand what God is doing. If you didn't stand up, you have another chance to receive mercy from God. On the 15th of May, which is something we are doing to honor our prophet. Huh. I knew you. God wants to give, take the souls in exchange for your child. Some of you, a baby you have not given birth to. His life will be secured by that move you are going to make on the 15th of May. A certain evil that should have come into your life because of 15th of May, that evil will be averted. I want to tell you today, be bold. Go and God tell them that we are going for a concert. We are going for a concert. And your soul will be saved. It's not just a musical concert. God wants to meet you at that concert. My church is having a concert, Alodi. My church is having a concert. And God wants to meet you at the concert. He wants to say something to you at the concert. So I've come to call you. That God wants to meet you at the concert. Number three. 
It is our responsibility as Christians to tell others about the truth. Nobody will tell others about Christ. Only you will do it. It's your responsibility. Every relationship comes with responsibilities. Every relationship. Once the word relationship is there, there's a responsibility. The customer has a responsibility. The business owner has a responsibility. God wants you to tell others. That's why Jesus said in Romans, uh, uh, Matthew 28, Go ye into all the world. It's your responsibility. Verse 20. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Mark 16, 15 also. Go ye into the world and preach the gospel. It's your responsibility. May 15th. It's a night of exchange transmission. Did you come to stand here, my dear? You didn't come there. Then you, you, you must also pray about it. I didn't come there. You must pray about it because it's not a joke. I've hardly felt the way I'm feeling about, about something. It's not a joke. If you are here and this is your first time of coming here, God brought you here for a reason. God brought you here for a reason. Don't play with God. You don't, this is not a place you just come. There must be a reason. For God to organize you here. Whether you drove your car yourself, you sat on a bus, you walked, God organized you here. This is not a roadside church where like when you were passing, you heard a pastor preaching and you entered. No, no. Here, you are organized to come here. And number four, you must bear fruit. You must bear fruit. Amen. Which is, which is also a serious matter. It's a serious matter. Because Jesus Christ went to a tree. And even the Bible says that it was not the season for fruits on that tree. But somehow he was expecting fruit. The bishop did a camp. He said, I come expecting fruit. In America, I come expecting fruit. It was not even the time for that tree to bear fruit. Fix. But he wanted fix to eat. When he did not get the fix, he said, no man will benefit from you again. That is, from today, you are useless. You are useless to your pastor, useless to your mother, useless to your boy. Even recently, I used the word useless to describe somebody. I, 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 I was moved to say, this person is useless. And, and, and I'm now realizing that it's actually a case. I'm, I'm just realizing it's a case. You'll be useless to your boss, useless to your wife, useless to your husband. You, like, no man, no man includes your wife, your husband, your teacher, your boss, your tenant, your landlord. No man eats fruit of you hereafter again. Even your children, because they are also men. I was expecting that scripture on the screen by now. No man eats fruit of thee hereafter forever. Why? Because he came expecting fruit and he didn't get it. When is, you see, you've been around. The woman had, she met Christ one hour. I mean, that's my own. It could be 30 minutes or two hours. Let's average it. One hour she went to town. You've been around long enough, mommy, to bear fruit on the 15th of May. And after, we, we are not going to become taper tracks on that day and come and tip the souls into the church and go. No, they are yours to win. You must bear fruit. He's done so much for you. He has been so good to you that you need to also do something for him. That's why we give offerings. I mean, on the 15th, it, it, it should be your way of saying thank you. 
for my pastor, Bishop Dagiwad Mills. Thank you for the UD. Thank you for the pastor, my uh, Bishop Dagiwad Mills sent to me. A way of saying thank you. We may, we may as well call it a night of thanksgiving. Because John 15 verse 16 says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And the fruit should remain. Believe God, the fruit you bear on the 15th of May should remain. The fruit. I said, I didn't come to this service even with that outreach on my mind. It was, was it when your wife was singing? Some, yes, I was one of the, yes. And I whispered to him. I said, I feel we must. It was, it was, I, I, and I said, three weeks, we must have a concert here. And when we checked, it had coincided with the, with, the, with the outreach already. God has arranged it to the point of you coming here. And even here, there was an angel here putting our, knocking our heads together to do what is right. So that somebody might have a chance to do an exchange transfusion on the 15th of May. Stand to your feet. Center leaders, Jesus, our meeting is coming on right after church. Lift your hands and pray. Isaiah 43 verse 4, New Living Translation. New Living Translation. Others were given in exchange for you. I traded their lives for yours because you are precious to me. You are honored and I love you. We are going to exchange the lives of others for your life. Can you lift your hands and pray? I want you to pray yourself. Whatever you feel like saying to God, say it to him. I've not held a towel in my hand But I've prophesied tonight I have prophesied without speaking English What you saw on the stage was a prophecy Yes Libra Libro Jesus You've done so much for me I cannot tell it all Again You've done, done so, so much for me, me. I, I cannot tell it all Again, again, again You've done so much for me I cannot tell it all. Next, if I had ten thousand tongues, it still won't be enough. When you heal, you heal completely. Shall I render unto Jehovah?
for he has done, for he has done so very much for me. What shall I render? What shall I render unto Jehovah? For he has done, for he has done I'm not even married. I don't have a husband. Some of you have got husbands, but you are ungrateful. I don't have a husband. Tagiaga. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Repayaba. Kokanima Mosiba. Paliaga. Tomahinda. Madigos. Pendua. Tagaga. Thank you, Lord. We have to negotiate with yes, you yes, before yes, you bring yes. a soul to his house. Thank you, Lord. We have to bargain with you like we are bargaining for a World Bank loan. We are negotiating for a World Bank loan. Wow. Wow. All right. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
closed. Every head bowed and every eye closed. If you are here tonight, maybe somebody invited you, or you even come to church already, but something about tonight's service makes you want to surrender your life to Jesus. You want to give your life to him. You want to, you know, you want it to be real. You want it to be real. You want to say, Pastor, pray for me. I want to take a decision today for Jesus. If you are here like that, lift your hand. I'm going to pray for you. Yes. Lift it high above your head. Pastor, I see your hand. Maybe you've been coming. But something about tonight, something about tonight makes you want to take a decision. Lift your hand high. Lift your hand high. Lift your hand. You want to say, Pastor, pray for me. I want to give my life to Christ. Yes. Maybe you are a dancer, you are in the choir, I don't know. But if you are here and you've lifted your hand, I want you to make your way here. Make your way to the front. Make your way. Make it. Bulldoze your way here. Come. Jesus is calling. His grace will God bless you. Come on and run, come running. God bless you. Come running, come running to that mercy. God bless you. You want to come? I want you to come right now. You've got three seconds. Come to the front and bow your knees to Jesus. Those of you, lift your hands and say, Father, I come to you today. I am sorry for my sins. Say, I am sorry for my sins. I have not followed you. I have not obeyed you. I have not walked with you. Today, I make a turn. A turn around. A U-turn. And I come to you. I want to start afresh. I want to know you and grow in you. Thank you for my salvation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well done. God bless you. You see our pastor, the one who is waving the hand, the woman, the woman waving the hand. Yes. I want you to please go to her. She's going to talk to you and help you to know Jesus in a very beautiful way. Please go to her. God bless you. Clap your hands for her. And those online, there's a number on the screen. Call that number. You need a friend. You need someone to talk to. You need to be counseled. And somebody will talk to you. We are taking our communion. We are coming to the Lord's table. It's an invitation you must not <laughs> play with. Take it. This is my body which was broken for you. Lift your bread. Drink. This is my blood. Lift your bread. Which was shed for you. If you don't have your bread, lift your hand. Just lift your hand if you have your bread. But I want you to take notes. It's a, you see, an invitation. Imagine that the president of Ghana calls you to meet him at the Flagstaff house tomorrow at 5 p.m. for dinner. I mean, I, I will go and take pictures. To be invited to God's table, it's an honor you must not play with. Something happens to you when you come to the Lord's table. Say the body of Christ. Say, as I eat it, blessings, healing, honor, greatness, deliverance will be mine. The body, of Christ. the body of Christ. Let's eat it. I will pass over you. Oh, when I see the blood. Lift your cup. Say the blood of Christ. The cup of blessing. 
Or lift your hand. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't have a cup, say the cup of blessing. The cup of blessing. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. In this atmosphere, In this atmosphere spiritually, spiritually, I'm approaching, I'm approaching favor, favor, blessings, blessings increase, increase for my life. For my life. The, cup of blessing. the cup of blessing. Drink it. Lift your hands. Father, we pray that you bless this beautiful time we've had. Bless us. Amen. Heal us. Amen. Deliver us. Amen. Let the wisdom keys oh, yes. you continually pass on to yes. us yes. not be trivialized. Amen. The wisdom of the exchange transfusion. Amen. The wisdom of the winning of souls. Yes. The wisdom of obedience. Yes. Let it be our portion. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. If you brought your tithe, please stand to your feet. You want to receive the tithe. Um, dancing stars, I wanted you to come and give me a very beautiful dance, but I want us to close, okay? So dash your dance tonight. Next week, next week, you are doing two. Come early for. Oh, no, no. On, that, on May 15th, you do two. Okay? Clap your hands for yourselves. If you brought your tie, please stand to your feet. I want us to close. And lift your If you've paid your tie already during the week, I want you to lift up your phone. It's your life. You know, your tithe is a very important part of your life. It may be one over ten. But I'm telling you, you can do something with that one over ten. Yes. Father, bless these ones. As he has honored you with their tithes. Help them. Honor them. Increase them and bless them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Come and touch the bag with your phone. And, or come and drop it. God bless you. God bless you. Well, it's time for us to give beautifully and joyfully to support the kingdom expansion projects with our second offering. Joanna, are you, are you listening to me? Your mind is somewhere. Is your offering ready? You want to support everyone? Take your phone with it. We are going to give a good offering to support projects. We are giving. Those of you online. We are giving those of you abroad. Now there's a new number for send wave. Is there separate? Yes, and you see Lady Pastor Lauren Watson's name there. It's for a, it's for a reason. She's a she's a VIP in the church. That's why her name is there. So don't be afraid. It's our number. Very important. And uh, to America, London, South Africa, send by well drummed send wave. Send an offering. Send it. I command you to send an offering and God is going to bless you mightily. Lift your, um, lift your hand. The name you see is Makane Church International. Whatever name you see. Once it's a number we are giving you, just send it to it. We know what we are doing. For, oh, only three people have raised their hands. Father, bless. Please put your hand down. Can you kindly add something? Some one kana or two. One fifty pesos. Something small. Alodi, something small to it. Something small. Father, we thank you that you, you are blessing our offering in Jesus' name. Amen. Beautiful. Let's welcome the ladies with a song. And let's come row by row, row by row, row by row, from the front to the back. And come and touch the bag with your phone or drop your offering into the bag. But we are coming in rows, row by row. Lilies, you have to, one minute.
If tonight is your first time of worshiping with us, tonight is your first time of worshiping with us. Come, kindly give me a wave. First time. Tonight is your first time of being here. Oh, God bless you. Why don't you clap your hands for them all over the building? Kindly rise to your feet and come to me here. Take your phone, your tablet, everything of yours. Come to me here in front. I want to greet you specially. Clap your hands for them as they come, please. Clap your hands for them as they come. My brother, please come to me. All the way from the back. Clap your hands for them. They are coming to the front. God bless you. You are welcome. You are welcome. This is the Makane Cathedral. You are welcome, my sister. Tonight, you are our VIP guest. You are welcome. Oh, keep clapping. I don't get tired of clapping. God bless you. You are welcome, my brother. Now, do you see our lady pastors over there on the side? The lady in green waving. Please go to her. She has something very important to say to you. Just short and then you can come back into her service, all right? Clap your hands for them. You are welcome again. Please clap your hands for them. Beautiful. Also, I want to remind you about your Ben MP contributions to help the prophet, the evangelist, Doug Howard Mills, take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the nations. Hallelujah. You can't preach in Uganda, but your money can preach in Uganda. You can't preach in Seychelles, but your money can preach in Seychelles. For 10 Ghana cities a month or more, you can be a part of the Healing Jesus campaign by being a Ben MP. The numbers are on the board. You can text the number if you want to become a partner. Or you can also send your monthly contributions to that number. Hallelujah. Don't miss a chance to have a stake in souls. Beautiful. For 10 CDs a month. For 10 CDs a month. Now, very quickly, I want to remind you that next week, we have our church camp coming up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have our Makane denominational camp. And I have the beautiful t-shirts here. Please display it to them. The t-shirts are going for... 20 Ghana cities each. 20 Ghana cities each. Very quickly. Yes. Different colors. If you go in front of the bookshop after the service, you can find one to purchase for just 20 Ghana cities. Get your t-shirt. Very beautiful t-shirts. The theme of the camp is going deeper and doing more. How many of you want to do more for the Lord? I tell you, tonight's message has stirred something in me. And I believe it has stirred something in you. I want us to rise to our feet and as a sign of Anna, let's, let's put our hands together for the gift of God in our midst. For our pastor, the one who leads us according to the dictates of God. I tell you, an exchange will happen in your life on the 15th. As I'm believing God for my exchange, I want you to believe God for your exchange as well. On the 15th of May, as you bring souls to the house of the Lord. Beautiful, beautiful. So I want to remind you about the camp. Register. Let's go to the camp from Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday. We are in the camp and I believe that the Lord will bless us. Are you glad you came to church tonight? I told you we were about to eat something good. Well, all too soon we come to the end of tonight's service. And... I want to thank all those who have joined us online tonight. God bless you wherever you have watched from, from Zimbabwe, from Zambia, United Kingdom, Australia, United States, everywhere, Philippines, everywhere you have watched us from. God bless you richly. May the word you have heard tonight, may it be a great seed that will bear much fruit in your life in Jesus' name. Until next week, same time again, those of you online, God bless you. And those of you here, why don't you turn to your neighbor, let's share the grace together tonight. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, the communion, the fellowship, the contribution, the participation of the Holy Ghost, the 24th.